So welcome back to the shop, everybody. We're gonna do a quick little review on a new battery charger that I just had to pick up because my other one decided to bite the dust on me. And if you're like me, old school, manual everything is where it's at. As technology increases, it's great, but these new smart chargers and smart devices sometimes drive me crazy. There's just something about knobs and old school stuff that seems to be a lot more reliable and work. So my smart charger that I've had for quite a few years just decided to stop working. I could still hear noises on the inside, display was gone, and I couldn't get it to kick on and charge. The other thing that I hate with a passion about these new smart chargers is they will not charge a dead battery, believe it or not. A lot of y'all have probably noticed that you get your fancy charger in that's supposed to just take care of everything for you and work behind the scenes, maintain stuff, trickle charge. But one of the big drawbacks to smart chargers is if a battery is discharged too low, lights left on a vehicle, whatever that may be, trolling motor battery dead in a boat, that's something I experienced and the voltage is too low, the smart charger does not sense that it's hooked up to a battery and you can't manually force it to start charging. What a stupid design flaw in these. I'm sure there's some safety reason for it. So when my little digital charger just bit the dust, I got to searching on Amazon. I typed in old school manual charger and lo and behold, I did find one that has old knobs and even warnings on there. Manual operation must be monitored. Perfect, just what I'm looking for. I have little trickle chargers and maintainers. If I wanna keep something charged around the clock, say all through winter, I want a good old school charger on wheels that has a big jump starter as well as a very powerful charger and then a low amperage charger as well. But most importantly, when I turn it on, it's gonna charge whether it knows a battery is there or not that will allow you to actually charge a dead battery like a battery charger should do. All right, so this should be a relatively quick video. It's frosty and cold here today. I actually have one of those old batteries that my old charger would not charge years ago. Problem is, it doesn't hold too good of a charge anymore and it drops below 12 volts and I use that battery to run my shop diesel heater. It's cold this morning, I wanna run my diesel heater. So we're actually gonna run this over there and hook up to the battery while my diesel heater starts up. That's when it ignites a glow plug, has a heavy charge, and the battery drops below the diesel heater's minimum voltage right there, and it'll cut off. I can hook it real quick to this until we get past the initial glow plug phase and you know initial burn. Then I can take this off and my battery will run for hours and hours just running the fan and the little fuel pump in that thing. So I'm running the Schumacher SC1437. Again, this is the manual model. Be careful when you're shopping here. I'll put a link down in the description to Amazon where I got mine. They have similar looking models that are automatic. And again, I wanted to stay away from automatic. All right, already completely set up, ready to go. This kind of reminds you of your old school chargers. A little smaller, more plastic. But if you'll look on top, well, manual knobs, just what I'm looking for. So first impressions, wheels look really flimsy, but it's just gonna get moved around in the shop. Jumper cables feel okay. This has a 150 amp jump starter. That's something else that's really nice for jumping off vehicles. Eight gauge cables. I can't tell you how many of these I see that'll claim they'll jump start 50, 100 amps, and it looks like they have 12 or 16 gauge wire on them. Uh, very flimsy looking stuff. H gauge, I like seeing that. All right, if you do a lot of jump starting, they do offer a 200 amp model. I got the 150 because the price was right. It's got a 25 amp boost mode, like basically a quick charge, and then a standard six amp charger. I'm perfectly fine with that. Now again, this is manual operation, it says you gotta be monitored, but it does have a manual timer that you turn on here. It's just an old school timer that counts back down and we'll cut this off. So if you wanna do some charging for a little bit and walk away from this. They also offer a model that'll do six volt batteries as well as 12 volt. And it wouldn't surprise me if they have something that maybe would do large 24 volt heavy equipment. But if you're jumping off a lot of equipment or vehicles, the 200 amp might make sense to you. The one thing I did not like about the 200 amp model was the charging modes. It had much higher charging modes and I wanted a lower six amp for slow charging of a battery. And then of course you get your gauge with your amp output right here as well. So very basic, straightforward. Let's plug it in. Let's go charge this battery over here. Get my diesel heater started, see if it makes any noise. If smoke comes out of it, hopefully not. 
and uh, wrap it up. But if you're looking for an old school style manual charger, yes, they still make them. I was so excited to find this. All right, excuse the junky shop over here, but this is where I've set my diesel heater up and very old battery. I'm looking on the front now. Yes, it's about to hit eight years old. A battery should never last that long. Like I said, it still maintains 12 volts to run my diesel heater and fan, but when the glow plug kicks on, it drops down to, it pulls it down hard, 10, 11 volts, and my diesel heater kicks off. But that's only in the initial startup. This right here will allow me to maybe get a few more months to another year out of this very old battery. All right, so I'm gonna go to the six amp mode. That should provide, you know, good steady current over to the battery. And we'll just kick this on to 15 minutes. You can see the amp output is on. Oh yeah, see we're already showing 14 volts on the screen because the charger's on. If I were to take the charger off, I guarantee you we're gonna go to 12 volts and then it's gonna pull down to 10 or 11 once this glow plug kicks on. So as long as this battery charger can maintain that 14 volt charge while this is pulling, oh, this is gonna ignite no problem and uh, make my work area over here nice and comfortable. Now, I don't have any dead batteries or vehicles to test the jump start, but my last one was a 50 amp jump starter, and it was, again, a smart one. And it would actually jump vehicles off, although it was a bit weak, going up to 150 amps and having real clamps, real cables. I think this is gonna be perfect for those times I need to jump off a tractor or truck. All right, a quick little update, and we'll wrap this review up. I mainly just did this to show y'all that they still offer a manual model. I know a lot of y'all are gonna be excited to learn that. Not everything has went digital on us. The timer counted down from 15 minutes just fine, and there's also an option to click to off manually. You don't just have to wait on the timer itself. So that worked as it should. We're not outputting anything. And this supplied plenty of power to a very old, somewhat dead battery to keep this well above 12 to 13 volts. We have full ignition and heat coming out into the shop now. All right, we'll update this review as we use this more and if we have any issues with the jump starting ability and or the unit itself, we'll update you. Y'all take care.